Alright guys, today I kind of wanted to make a new video about a money strategy. I haven't made a video about a money strategy in a while, but last time I did, it did pretty well, and it's a really efficient money-making method, but a lot of people in the comments section and whatnot said that they do not have the spaghetti business and the stuff required in the video, but I did find a new money method that's relatively good, and you don't need like anything at all, pretty much, to get this started. So of course, to start this up, first you have to be at your local arcade. Um, the arcade's pretty cool and it's really good for money. In fact, I even did my own video where I made 10,000 coins in the first day using the arcade. Now you wanna to talk to this man. You can see his name is pretty beautiful, Ranger Duck Supremacy. And he sells these nachos. Now they don't seem anything special at first, but the first thing you might notice is that they heal up five bars of HP, five bars. Not a lot of foods do that. And also, he will sell for, or not he, the food will sell for 50 coins each. Now, other foods do sell for 50 coins each, but the thing is, these ones are so dang cheap that you can easily just farm money with it for early game. And then you can save up like 10k coins and then buy the spaghetti business and then boom, business is booming. Unfortunately, though, there is a stock limit. There are six per day, but that's it. Now, that doesn't make it bad, though, because it resets every day and you can skip days pretty easily. By the way, guys, if you can't spend on your tickets, if you have like a bunch of tickets like me where I have like about 5,000 tickets, don't worry because there's this NPC with the virtual goggles on that you can talk to. His name is the Virtual Boy. And what he does is he exchanges tickets for coins. Like for example, my 5,000 coins would translate to 20,000 real coins. In other words, if you do the math, that's four coins per ticket, which you can also use if you want. Or you can just keep spending your tickets on nachos. But I recommend, if you have like a lot of extra tickets, I would recommend selling them and exchanging them. Because getting those tickets back is quite easy. Yeah, look at that. Based off just this small batch of nachos, I managed to make a little bit of money. Now, I did have a little bit of extra nachos, but that's still pretty impressive. Also, by the way, if you're looking for the best way to farm tickets, I did also do my own video on ticket farming. If you want me to summarize it for you, basically, for the most part, Arcade Simulator is the best new method because you can make like quite a bit. If you wanna know exact details, I recommend watching that video. Okay, so there's one more thing I have to say for early money making and that's the port. So I actually did my own video on the port and it's a pretty detailed video and it still works even now and the video was posted like a while ago. But basically with the port, you can make some pretty good money early game. Even if you're like a brand new account, you can still uh, rob the port. I even did my own video robbing the port. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Alright guys, before I fall asleep in game, I just want to end this video off by saying, you know, liking and subbing, you know the drill, this is YouTube. If you don't like and sub, I will not do anything to stop you, but I'd like it if you did. And anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video, and uh, goodbye.